Hello everyone, you are watching the Pedrosa Travel Channel, the channel where every week we take you on a random travel adventure. In this travel adventure, we are taking you again to Ensenada, Mexico, but this time we have a mission. Everyone else is taking a tour to see the blowhole at our day at port, but our mission today is to escape from a Mexican prison and to find an authentic fish taco. I know that sounds weird, but more details to follow. But first, we have to get downtown. For $4, there is a shuttle bus that will take you downtown, but we are too cheap for that, so we are going to walk downtown. When I told my family that we are going to a Mexican prison, they got suspicious, so they noped out and left me at the marina. Bar port here, but there's no port at the dock over there. There's no ship at the dock. Okay. Yeah, no ship at the dock over there. That's interesting. I guess this is, just this is a different... Dock. I guess so. This is a different dock that we're not used to. I was kind of confused when it backed up into port there. This is the old dock, I think. Those birds are leaving. They're clearly aggressing. Sandpiper. Just you know that this is your future. Well, we are here on the boardwalk now. It's kind of boring on the boardwalk right now. No flag is flying here. Usually there's a big, huge flag here and like a little carnival. And all these wooden stores have little shops inside. But it's amazingly quiet. It's Thursday here. It's nine o'clock, which is even kind of like late for Mexican standards usually stuff's open by now but we're the only ship in town today so kind of an off day in Ensenada Mexico today the Ensenada marina is actually kind of interesting if you know the history Ensenada used to be one of two official import cities and now is the largest of all the import cities for Mexico. As such, you will see a ton of shipping containers in port, but you will see a lot of smaller ships in the port because Ensenada is a cheap place to fix a boat. This is definitely an interesting dry dock here. <laughs> you can dry dock anywhere, I guess. Looks like we got a pirate ship over here. My guess is this pirate ship sails at night, not during the daytime. But it's kind of cool. Always fun to see a different looking ship. Got to the market, Negro, Mercado Negro, the black market. Looks like we're almost to the end here. Buy all your curios here. This area is where they have all the fish tacos. Ensenada is known for inventing the fish taco. And so I would highly suggest if you get the chance to buy a fish taco here in Ensenada. As you can see, there's lots of stands and all the fish is fresh. Let's see what we got for the catch of the day here. Now we're in the shopping area of Ensenada. They're just setting up for the day. Let's see what's around here. Have some traditional Mexican candy here. What do we got here? We got coconut. We've got peanuts. Japanese peanuts. Pineapple. All sorts of stuff. We are here at the Regional Museum here in Ensenada. This building has been recently restored. It used to be the prison, is what it used to be. And they've recently um, restored it and it looks like it's free. So we're gonna go check out the Regional Museum history and watch out for the cars. That's the two things we're gonna do today.
Okay, it looks like we're gonna start in the yeah, mammoths. We're starting in the prehistoric age here. And this area was habitated by a lot of mammoths. Woolly mammoths were in this area. And a lot of woolly mammoth bones have been found in this area, as you can see. So that's a very common thing. There used to be a time when woolly mammoths were walking in the plains of Ensenada here. This area here is talking about the first people here on the west coast. The Kumiyes were very active in this area. And you can see, like you can see here, a lot of arrowheads in the area. They were a hunter-gatherer civilization. There used to be a lot of buffalo in the area. And so that's what they were hunting back then. In California, when there was indigenous tribes here, they would use matate stones to grind acorn and different nuts that they would find, like pine nuts and acorns were very common to grind. Well, actually, in 1540, Hernando de Alarcón sailed by California, but it wasn't until 1542 when Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo actually landed in California. And then it was developed, and the first cities were probably around 1683 as they colonized. It was the Jesuit priests who came first, followed by the Dominicans. Here they kind of give you a timeline of what happened in that area. This here would have been the old interior well. In addition to being a prison, it was also a fort. And so they could defend themselves here. Over here you can see the stockade. We'll see if they show some of the old prison rooms. Yeah, here you can see some of the old prison rooms. Last thing you want to do is wind up in a Mexican prison. They are very small areas, as you can see. Not much room at all. And no restroom either. Probably just get a bucket. That's what a Mexican prison looks like. Oh, this is a double room. You have two cement slab beds here. And that would probably be for the sink or maybe a mirror or something. Very confined quarters. Visiting the prison turned into a regional museum was very interesting, but I'm happy to say that I was just visiting. I went to go visit my friend Dean, who owns a massage and chocolate shop in downtown Ensenada called the Massage and Facial Care. His spa is kind of unique because he uses the money he earns to help fund school for underprivileged kids, and it's like one third the price of the cruise ship. Look for a link below for a special offer. We're gonna try a traditional tostada with fish, of course, and you can see they've got all the different type of fish there. He's just gonna pile on different types of fish. We're gonna see what it is and it's gonna be good. And I'm sitting over here in front of the flag plaza, Plaza de la Patria, which means to the Patriots, we'll go over there. The founds are actually working today, so that's kind of cool. It is a beautiful day here in Ensenada. The weather is gorgeous here. I think it's like maybe 65 degrees here. Nice and sunny. We're gonna hang out here and have our tostada and see what that's like. Okay, this is what we're looking at. This is our tostada here. It is pretty big. It's got a little bit of everything. We got avocado, we got shrimp, we got octopus on there. We've got tuna, we've got clam. It's got everything. It looks pretty good. That was a good taco there. Finished that one right away. That was really good. That was big. So the Tostada guy just told me if I really want to have a good fish taco, I need to walk five blocks up more into the center area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk five blocks up and look for these supposedly legendary fish tacos. So that's what I'm going to do. Definitely in downtown area here. I don't see any fish taco stands around here. But I'm gonna look this way and see what I can find. Okay, I just passed by another tostada post here. And the tostadas there looked even better than the one I had. But he said, if I want fish tacos, I gotta walk another two blocks. So I'm walking another two blocks to find 
fish tacos is what I'm looking for. I guess there's a whole section of them two blocks from here. Looks like we found the place. They're selling them for 27, so that's like two dollars each for the tacos of fish tacos and get some fresh lemon juice too. Gracias. So we'll check that out here at Marisco's El Profe. Check that out. All the different salsas and addings here. I think we'll try some cabbage and maybe some chipotle sauce. Well, we got them all dressed up. We got chipotle, we got mayonnaise on there, we got a little bit of guacamole sauce on there. See how like our $2 tacos taste. Well, that was a very good taco. I highly recommend that taco if you're ever in the area. Tacos, El Profe. And I thought I was gonna get lost, but I am four blocks away from the cruise port here. So I think if I just walk a few blocks this way, I will be back where I need to be. So that's pretty great. Took your Prince perfume, duty free. I'm curious what the prices are like. We're gonna check it out. Prices are about the same in the United States. The only difference is you don't pay taxes here. So I guess that's a little bit better. I ended up buying Dulce and Gobana for Ohm, which is normally $100, but here it was $81 because if you're on the cruise, they give you a discount. So that was cool. I was about to go back on the ship and I saw some cool ATVs. $40 an hour for the automatic ones. And you could drive them on the street or take them up into the mountains. Okay. They look kind of fun. There you go. Back on security and back to the ship. Getting through screening was pretty easy. All you need is your sail card. After all that walking, it was time to take a nap, so it was nice to have the room ready. Hope you enjoyed this little walk around Ensenada, Mexico. If you were in port, I encourage you to walk around and explore a little. You never know what you'll find. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm not narrow, and so I had pressed the Oh, button. I like that. I didn't see that. Yeah. Big Italian eight of English, you know, romantic. Mm -hmm. yeah, piece of art there. Tech nine. Tech nine. Nice.